Tribology is the study of friction, lubrication and wear. The University of Southampton is home to NCATS, the UK National Centre for Advanced Tribology. Over the past 50 years, tribology has greatly improved the motors and bearings that are vital in today's fast-moving world. Failure of just a single bearing could cause a helicopter to crash, or a pump in a nuclear power station to stop working. Oil and greases are used to cut down the friction between moving parts. Without oil, your car engine would grind to a halt in seconds. The latest wind turbines have blades nearly the length of a soccer pitch and their bus-sized gearboxes demand special lubrication. Racing car engines strive to eliminate friction, but sometimes it's needed. Tires must grip in all weathers and carbon brake friction stops a Formula One car five times more quickly than a sports car, in the process heating the brake pads to 1000 degrees Celsius. Friction occurs because no surface is completely smooth. When two surfaces slide against each other, the peaks on them rub against each other, creating friction. Under an electron microscope, even polished metal appears rough. A thin film of oil keeps surfaces apart and helps them slide smoothly. Oil is a wonderfully versatile material that keeps the wheels of industry turning, but it also comes with some environmental costs. Used oil is not always disposed of responsibly and can damage nature. In some specialist applications, oil can be replaced by high-tech solid coatings. These coatings, based on diamond-like carbon, are showing great promise in the reduction of the friction and wear. This reduction could save millions of pounds in fuel and significantly reduce environmental impact of modern automotive engines. Moreover, these coatings are biocompatible and can be used as a protective surface for implants, stents and for other biomedical applications. The human body is a complex biological machine that also needs lubrication. Knees, hips and elbows suffer rough treatment over a lifetime. Damaged joints can now be replaced by artificial ones, with hip replacement one of the most common and most successful operations. NCAT's tribologists are heavily involved in improving the performance of artificial joints. This hip simulator can test 10 implants at once. It mimics two and a half years of walking in just 10 weeks. Water causes frictional drag on a body moving through it. The drag on a moving ship is enormous. If the hull becomes fouled with seaweed, slime or barnacles, expensive fuel is wasted and carbon dioxide emissions increase. Special surfaces are being developed to resist fouling growth. A wide range of test equipment is used to measure friction and wear. This tiny diamond probe tests the hardness of surface areas hundreds of times thinner than a human hair. Advanced specialist microscopes allow surfaces to be studied in incredible detail. This is a microscope that gives 3D images. For instance, here we have um, uh, an image of individual diatoms, phytoplankton, that, has been, that they are attached on a metal surface uh, exposed in the marine environment. Three-dimensional images allow a better understanding of processes such as corrosion, biofouling, friction and wear. This microscope enables a better understanding and insight into how complex processes really are. With the help of computers, tribologists are predicting how surfaces interact, which means the elimination of time-consuming and expensive practical tests. From trains to turbines, family cars to artificial hips, tribology, the science of friction, lubrication and wear, is improving our quality of life.